Hello and welcome to my video on what it was like going on national television for a quiz show in the UK. So my 18th birthday was in September 2021 and my family had always joked about me going on the show and I kind of just decided when I turned 18 I had nothing to lose so I just applied on the website, filled everything out and did not hear anything for ages. I did finally hear back in February 2022 with an email letting me know that I had a Zoom audition to be on the show. So the day I did my Zoom audition was also my driving test day. So I passed that in the morning, came back to school and did my Zoom audition in my head of sick forms office. There were rounds to the Zoom call. So like the first round was a bit just like a warm up, get to know each other, say some facts about yourself. So obviously I said about how I just passed my driving test. And then after that, some people were cut. And because of the demographic for who usually goes on the show, it was a little painful. Some people were trying to end the Zoom call because they didn't know where the buttons were or anything. But then the second round was a bit more quiz based, a bit more, you know, had to think on the spot and just come up with things to be able to talk about. So that was a bit more intense. And then after the Zoom call, I didn't hear anything again for ages. Over the next few months, I would just get random phone calls from undisclosed numbers, which would just be the studio calling me to ask me some general knowledge questions, which I thought I did awfully on every time. I felt so bad about it. I thought they're not going to want me on the show. I look really dumb. I don't look like I know anything. But then when I went to Leeds Festival in the summer, I did actually get a call there from the studio letting me know that I was going to be on the show at some point and they just wanted to finalise some things with me like my passport, my driver's licence to be able to like check you know where I lived and all of that and then I waited what felt like an infinity to hear when I was going to be on the show I felt like I'd been checking my emails every day hoping you know because they can't let you know too far in advance just because they need to pick the right people to go with each other I kept checking every day and then I found out that my filming date was going to be the 30th of September so a week after freshers when I joined uni which was a very odd experience like meeting people a week before and then being like hey I'm not going to be here on Friday because I'm going down to London to film a quiz show it was very odd that kind of interaction with everyone but then the day did arrive where it was a time to film my episode and they email you in advance everything you need to know about the day, your itinerary, your train tickets, everything like that, which was very useful because I like to just keep checking things so I don't feel like I'm forgetting anything. So they ask you to do your hair and makeup to come to the studio, how you want to be on the show. And then for your clothes, they just ask you to bring five outfits. And then when you're there, they'll ask you which one you'd prefer to wear. So I went with my hair in like a half up, half down. And I did my makeup very minimal because I was scared I'd look back at the episode in a few months or years or whatever and just cringe at how I looked in the moment. So I thought less is better. And then I wanted to wear this like leopard print dress that my grandma had bought me. But obviously I did bring my five options to come to the show. I got an Uber to the train station the morning of because my train was quite early. And then I got to the train station and found out my train was actually cancelled. So I called the woman who I'd been in correspondence with in a bit of a panic saying my train's cancelled. I don't know if I'm going to be able to come for the episode and she calmed me down very quickly and she said that there was a train in about 20 minutes that would still get me there on time and it was all sorted. I got on that train and then once I got off the train, they'd sent me a list of all of the tube stations I needed to get because I'm not from London, so that was very handy. So I got on the different tubes and once I got to my final tube stop, there was a taxi there waiting for me that was prepaid and everything that drove me to the studios. I was actually the last episode to be filmed that day. So what they do is they let you meet everyone, get used to all the backstage people, 
and then they take you to a room and explain the rules of the game because surprisingly there are some people who apply to the show and they've never even seen it before so that was very interesting having to sit and had it all explained to me even though I knew. We had food which was all provided, they'd asked before if I had any dietary requirements so I told them I was vegetarian which they were able to accommodate for which was lovely and then once the show before us had finished filming we then went to hair and makeup where I was really impressed she told me she loved my makeup which made me feel over the moon and then from there we went to the studio where it was all filmed. I think to be honest I was just most shocked that there were so many pauses during the filming of it because they always get someone to come up to you in the middle of it in the middle of filming asking you are you okay how you're feeling about the other contestants how you think they're doing just trying to keep you calm and relaxed the whole time which i thought was just a lovely part of the experience how close you felt to the backstage people i was feeling a little nervous the day of filming but this definitely helped a lot with my nerves and making me feel more confident in front of the camera and then we actually won the money <laughs> which was crazy and I absolutely sobbed and cried and I was just overjoyed. After filming was finished because we had won the money they took us into a room and explained how long it was going to take to process and when we could probably expect to actually receive the money. It was all the, basically the same as the morning but in reverse so they got me a taxi back to the tube station, I got on all the same tubes back and got my train back home and you were allowed to tell close friends and family that you'd won. So I called my mum and she thought I was joking. It took me, I think, 10 minutes to convince her I wasn't joking. And she started crying as well. It was just such an amazing day. Because they told me it could take quite a while for the money to actually be sent to my bank account, I like didn't really check my bank account that often because I expected it to be later rather than sooner. But one night around October, my friends asked me to go out and I thought I had no money because I'm a student. So I checked my bank account to see like how much I had and if I could go out. And then that's when I found out that the money had been sent to my bank account and I cried all over again because it felt like I was reliving it. And I had the best night out ever. We were told at the end of filming that we would get an email two weeks before our air date with a photo as well of all of our team and it would let us know when the episode was going to be aired. So because my family and friends all knew I'd been on the show, I had a call about every two weeks from grandparents and aunties and uncles asking me when it was gonna air and I could not tell them because I hadn't heard anything and it was a long time until I did hear. So I filmed the episode in September of 2022 and then I did finally hear at the start of May in 2023 and my family could not have been more excited for the episode. On the day my episode aired, me and my friends just basically had a big party to celebrate. We all had cocktails and we sat down and watched the episode on a big projector and it just made the moment even more special, having my friends beside me, cheering me on. I had my mum and my dad FaceTime me, showing me that they were watching it with my grandparents. It was just a lovely feeling knowing I was so supported by everyone that I loved around me. Before you do film your episode, they do warn you that after the episode airs, you might receive some negative comments or negative feedback from like Twitter and other social medias. And like an absolute idiot, I thought, mm, I just want to know what people are saying. So I went on Twitter after my episode and it made me feel really sad. So many people were just hating on me because I was a younger person and they were saying, you know, I didn't deserve to win, that the other members of my team are the only reason I won and they just really didn't have anything nice to say about me. Although some comments definitely were nice and it was people congratulating me and saying how happy they were for me, especially because I am a student. But on the whole, they were definitely more negative than positive. And I was actually really surprised at the toll that took on me. I thought I'd be able to handle it better than I did in the end. Luckily, because I was around all my friends, I opened up to them about, you know, what people had been saying about me 
and in classic teenager fashion we put on F You by Lily Allen and it made me feel a lot better. So my overall takeaway from going on the show is I definitely would recommend the experience to anyone. Even if I hadn't won the money, I had an amazing day going down to London, having it all planned, you know, getting to meet the host, meet other people. It was just a really fun day. And I would say if you've even thought or considered it, just go for it. And it's such a fun story to be able to tell people because they never believe you. But I did. I went on national television and I went on a game show and I won. If you've made it to the end of the video, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. It truly does mean a lot. And any more comments or questions you might have about my day or the application process, please just leave them in the comments and I'll try and get back to everyone. Thank you so much.